Our lesson today is about Ezra, who is a faith and action preacher. Ezra is a clear example of how to act in accordance with one's heart of faith. Ezra is a complicated book in the Bible, and it's part of the section of the Hebrew Bible called the Ketuvim, or writings, and it's treated as history within scripture. It's read alongside books like Esther, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, and others. Ezra and Nehemiah are typically connected because they speak about the same historical moment when the remnant of Judah returns to the Promised Land and rebuilds the temple. These actions occur between 538 and 516 BC. Ezra is written with a focus on the work of Ezra the priest and scribe in restoring religious purity to the exiles who were returning. They were to separate themselves from the Judeans who had stayed behind in the land because these Judeans had become accustomed to living a compromised lifestyle. And the remnant was to separate from the foreigners who surrounded the land because they were idolaters. And they were to separate from those who would not commit to the Lord and the law of Moses. The book of Nehemiah focuses on Nehemiah, the cupbearer of the Persian king, who becomes the political leader who helps rebuild Jerusalem after the exile. This was an important historical moment for the nation because it was the sign of God's offer of grace and hope for restoration and a renewed future after the exile. It was seen by the biblical Israelites as God giving them a second chance to rebuild and keep the covenant after repenting for their sin. These experts of, I'm sorry, these events, I should say, of the return begin the period called the Second Temple Judaism. It continues to the time of Jesus and shortly after. The nation undergoes seasons of turmoil and conquest with the expectation that the Messiah will save the people and free them from oppression, which becomes a dominant theme in the lives of Ezra and Nehemiah. It sets the stage for the nation that will emerge in need of a savior. As believers, we rejoice because Jesus Christ was born at the right time to save us from the oppressive power of sin. Hallelujah. Are you ready to inspire your children and community with Vacation Bible School? Are you searching for digital solution for remote learning with VBS or Bible study this year? Well, if you don't know where to begin, I have good news. UMI has designed the solution you need. And now it'll be easier than ever to reach your church, community, and loved ones with the gospel of Jesus Christ. UMI is here to partner with you, and I'm thrilled to present the answer you need, which is the 2021 Digital VBS program, I've Got This with Jesus. It's the complete digital solution for parents, Christian educators, and teachers who are hosting VBS in person or teaching remotely or teaching or leading VBS through online video conferencing. Enjoying VBS at home with children and family is another way to use this curriculum. Our new digital format allows you the flexibility to host an in-person class or completely digital class or teach hybrid vacation Bible school, which is a combination of digital and in person. <laughs> Whatever you choose, you're guaranteed a streamlined VBS experience that's Christ-centered and creative. With I've Got This Digital VBS, you'll be able to inspire your students, engage your children, and share the gospel with members of your family and community, even if you're still gathering remotely. Just visit umivbs.com to get started with your complete VBS Vacation Bible School program, and you'll be equipped to teach creatively, effectively, and powerfully. 
and lead many children, youth, teens, and adults to Christ. God bless you. You'll be able to say, I've got this with UMI's digital VBS.